This is what's alarming environmentalists here. Incinerating makeshift refineries run by notorious oil thieves in the Niger Delta. The oil bunkers, as they are known, hack into pipelines and draw crude oil to be cross distilled into paraffin and diesel and sold cheaply across Nigeria. An estimated 300,000 barrels are stolen daily. Nigeria's civil military corps is charged with combating oil theft and ensuring pipeline security, but they are not equipped to dispose tons of stolen crude oil. Now environmentalists say burning the installations could be worse than leaving the oil on the ground. Setting it ablaze is actually probably one of the worst things that you can do. Because while it appears to get rid of uh, all the oil that is lying around, what it does, it consolidates the negative aspects of the oil into the soil. It solidifies the soil, almost concretizing some of the soil, which makes it even more difficult to clean up. Pollution caused by oil spill is one of the most difficult environmental damages to fix. The federal government recently launched a $1 billion environmental cleanup program in Ogoni land, where all activities have been suspended over years of pollution. The cleanup is expected to run for 30 years before the environment is restored, but that too is unlikely as further spillage has not been tamed yet. And environmentalists insist there are no quick fixes. There are far more environment-friendly methods. Uh, you can use uh, types of agents now that uh, are very uh, benign in terms of the effect that they have on the biodiversity. You can use uh, organic uh, agents that will uh, slowly absorb the oil that has been spilt in the area. Niger Delta covers about 20,000 square kilometers. It's the most eco-diverse place on the planet, but 40% of its landmass could go to waste in the next 30 years due to recklessness in the oil industry. Some of the biggest causes of oil pollution in the region being run-down oil infrastructure, crude oil theft, and outright pipeline vandalism. Kelechi Amekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.